Biza ningependa kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Kwa sababu kama siyo Mwenyezi Mungu mumba mbingu na ardhi ingekuwa ni, tumetoka mbali kuanzia Ijumaa mpaka siku ya leo tumekuwa kule ndani na sio jambo la rahisi sana. Na kwa hivyo ningependa kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu wakati huu ambao tumetoka siku ya leo kwa sababu koti imeamua ya kwamba tupewe tutoke na uh, bond ambao sasa mawakili wamehakikisha kwamba tumemalizana na kule najua tumeanza kesi sasa kesi iko mbele ya koti mimi ni mcha Mungu na ninatii sheria najua kuna mambo mengi siwezi ongea kuhusu kesi yangu ambao tumeanza siku ya leo kwa sababu naheshimu masharti ya kotini kwa sababu lazima tuongee kidogo tu kuuzu mambo eh, machache kulingana na kesi lakini hatuwezi tacha mambo mengi kwa sababu tunatii sheria ya kotini lakini ningependa kushukuru kila mwananchi wa Kenya wakaaji wa Nandi hizi ambao mimi nawakilisha nime, kama mbunge wakaaji wa Nandi county ambapo nimetosaliwa wakaaji wa Nairobi county ambao wabunge wote wanaishi hapa Nairobi ofisi zetu ziko hapa Nairobi na wakaji wote wa Kenya na kila wale wote ambao walitunga mkono walituombea ningependa kushukuru sana na shukuru wabunge na viongozi mbalimbali ambao wale walitu, walikaa pamoja na sisi ikiongozwa na mheshimiwa uh, Kutuny kutoka Cherangani mheshimiwa Tiren kutoka kule Moiben Mheshimiwa rafiki yetu uh, Maanzo ambao tulikuwa na yeye uh, bunge la moja. Mheshimiwa Moroto na waheshimiwa wote. Waheshimiwa wote walijaribu kuja kuniangalia kule uh, uh, mpaka masenator wengi. Senator Gideon Moi, Senator uh, wakili wangu Omogeni, Mea aliyekuwa Mea Nairobi. Uh, ule aliyekuwa majiwa na viongozi wote senator wetu wa Nandi na wabunge wote ni wengi siwezi si, si uh, chukua muda mfupi kama saa hizi nitaje majina ya wale wote ambao li tutembelea lakini ningependa kutoa tu ujumbe ya kwamba siku ya leo sasa kesi imeanza kutini ninajua ya kwamba nilienda uh, kufanya shughuli ambayo nilifanya kulingana na katiba article 95 uh, sub article 2 of the constitution we represent issues concerning the people sisi tukipata malalamishi yote kwa uh, mwanaji wa Kenya tuna haki ya kuwakilisha kwa kila wizara ya um, kila department ya serikali mawizara mbali mbali sisi tuna haki ya kuwakilisha na hiyo ni kazi ambayo tumepewa kikatiba mimi nitaendelea kufanya kazi hiyo haijalishi ni mtu rangi aina gani ama dini aina gani ama kabila aina gani, uh, tafauti kabila yote mimi nitashughulikia wote wanaiji kutoka kule Nandi hii wa county yetu ya Nandi wakaaji wa Rift Valley na wakenya wote bila upakuzi yote ya rangi ya madini ama kabila ama umri useme wewe ni mdogo ama mkubwa wote tutatumikia kama wabunge kwa sababu nyinyi mnalipa kodi ili tukue na bunge na hiyo ni kazi ambayo tunafanya kama bunge mimi wale watu ambao walikuja wakasema ni wasaidie kule walikuja kuniomba kama mbunge nipeleke ujumbe kule bungeni nikaamua kwenda kule kuwaziliana na ule mwenye anasimamia kule kwa sababu nilibidi nitii sheria nimpate nimuulize maswali walikuwa nauliza maswali machache ya kwamba pesa ililipwa lini ililipwa wapi na ililipwa wakati mgani na jinsi gani kwa benki gani account gani hayo tu ningependa kutaja lakini kwa sababu ni kesi iko kotini Nataka tu ni wakikishie, mimi kama mwishimi wa keteri. 
there is no amount of in, in, intimidation. I will not relent in the pursuit for justice for everyone. We go through many challenges. Hata tukiongea sasa hivi kuna wengi ambao wamenuliza maswali. Nimepata ujumbe ya wakenya wawili ambao wanataja ya kwamba wao walipelekwa kutoka pa Kenya kwa sababu walikuwa na jaribu kutoa kukutoa malalamishi kulingana na deni ambao wanafuata mahali na wanataka kurudi ili waendelee na hiyo malalamishi yao ya kuhakikisha wamepata deni there are so many Kenyans who have called me that we have issues in different ministries that needs to be resolved they think that i was uh, after the challenges that I faced, I was caught down so that I cannot continue with the fight for justice for most Kenyans. But I want to inform Kenyans that I'm still the Honorable Halfred Kiptoketer of the 11th Parliament, and I will remain Halfred Keter of the 11, of the 12, in the 12th Parliament, who will not fear anybody, who will not be intimidated by anybody, because it is important for all of us as members of Parliament and as your leaders, we fight for justice to ensure that every Kenyan has space and get their right for any thing that they, they, they deem uh, it is deemed fit as per the constitution and the laws of Kenya. We respect our laws. We respect our laws and we respect the constitution. Najua tumepita mambo tofauti. Sisi kuwekwa mimi kukaa uh, korokoroni kutoka Ijumaa mpaka siku ya leo na sheria inasema nina haki ya kutoka ili nifanye kazi. Hayo ni mambo lazima tuongelee. Ili wabunge tukifanya kazi tuzitishwe. Na viongozi mbali mbali wazitumie kutisha kutumia askari ya polisi kutisha viongozi ili waogope kufanya kazi yao ya kuhakikisha kila wizara inafanya kulingana na katiba. Hayo ni tu ningependa kusema siku ya leo lakini kuanzia leo sasa tutaendelea pamoja. Tuko na kesi lakini tutaendelea pamoja kushirikiana kwa yale ambao tunatekeleza kama viongozi wenyu. We will continue with everything that is uh, as per our mandate. We are obliged to laws to legislate to make laws that are going to better the lives of Kenyans. So thank you so much. Let me give the opportunity to the lawyer and the two members of are aware of it that as soon as you arrest any Kenyan, the first thing you should do is to release them on bond and then present them to court unless there are compelling reasons why you cannot release them on, on, on bond. So it has become a habit now uh, and the government is abusing this law and the police are abusing it that wherever you arrest a politician or any person you want to intimidate, unafungea uh, how? kwa siku kadhaa and sana sana, sana siku ya Ijumaa manake inajulikana ya kwamba uwezi fikishwa kotini mpaka uh, mpaka Monday kwa hivyo hiyo ndio imekuwa njia ya kupeana punishment uh, kwa wananchi ama kwa mtu yeyote ambaye unajua kesi haitenda hizo makezi zote kutoka kesi ya Kajwang mpaka hii ya Keter wanajua hakuna pali zitaenda Manake kama mheshimiwa Ketera alikuwa akifanya kazi yake kama mbunge. Na kama kesi hakuna mahali itaenda basi jia yoyote ile tu ile punishment mheshimiwa Ketera angepewa ni ya kufungia yeye kwa hizo siku tatu. Tayari kifungu amepata. Kwa hivyo eh iwe ni jambo ambao serikali ingependa kurekebisha tufuate katiba tulio nayo. Tumesema we want to follow the rule of law. Let it be practical and for real. You don't need to insist you are following the rule of law. People have to see you doing the rule of law, isn't it? You have to be seen doing the rule of you have to be seen doing justice. And I think the police should stop this habit. As soon as somebody is arrested, release them on bail. A member of parliament will present themselves to court anytime. If I'm arrested, I'll come to court. I have no reason to run anywhere. I represent a lot of people. Arabu Gata represents a lot of people. He does not need to run away from justice. And he cannot even run away from his constituency and from parliament. So please, in future, uh, let us follow the rule of law.
Hassan. Thank you. Afya, ako sawa. Hata nimeona kidogo umeongeza kilo. Niliongeka <laughs> huko. Kila ambacho umekuwa ukikula huko naonekana ni nzuri. Lakini ni vizuri sisi tume tu sisi tunasimama na mheshimiwa Alfred Keter kwa sababu ya kwanza ni mwenzetu. Ya pili ni mkenya. Ya tatu ni mwananchi. Na ya nne hana hatia, ni mshukiwa. Kwa hivyo kusema kwamba ati yeye ni ana hatia yeyote itakuwa ni uongo. Na jinsi tumesungumza na tulizungumza majuzi ni kwamba sheria lazima ifuatwe. E, kama kuna uchunguzi ilikuwa inafanywa tunataka kujua ukweli. Tunataka kujua mikakati gani um, gavana wa Central Bank ameweka kuhakikisha keshi hii ukweli imejulikana. Tunataka kujua nani alilipwa pesa hizo kwa sababu kama ni shilingi milioni 630 kwa hizo miaka zote zilizopita ukiongeza na zile masalio na interest ambayo ime, imeongezeka ni zaidi ya bilioni 13 nani alilipwa hiyo pesa kulingana yale makaratasi leo hawawezi kuja kusema kwamba mheshimiwa na wengine walishirikiana kwenda kuandika makaratasi ambazo nifiki nafikiri ukweli lazima idhirike na sisi wengine kwa sasa tunafikiria mara mbili labda mheshimiwa kweli labda ni mshukiwa ama labda mheshimiwa kwa sababu amekuwa uh, shindano kwa wengine ndio na labda anataka kutiwa kitanzi na anataka kusema kwamba nyakati hizo zilipitwa na wakati sisi tutasimama na mheshimiwa na kama waheshimiwa tutaendelea kutetea wananchi mimi leo nimeharifiwa na mheshimiwa kwamba kuna wakenya wengine wamejitokeza ndani ya Central Bank kuna mama leo amejitokeza amesema kwamba mimi nilikuwa na hundi zangu nilinunua treasury bill takriban milion mbili. kwenda kule mama akaambiwa kwamba utawekwa ndani leo kupitia kwa parua pepe mheshimiwa ametuonyesha kwamba kuna wakenya wengine walikuwa tena wanadai takriban milioni mia saba. na walishamtumia mheshimiwa kwamba ututetee wale wangwana walipokwenda Central Bank kwenda kutetea waliwekwa ndege iliyokuwa inafuatiwa kama miguna miguna kwa hivyo tumeeleza mheshimiwa kwamba hayo yalete bunge kwa sababu bunge haimkatazi mheshimiwa kuleta masuala kama hayo sisi tujadili na tunataka kusema kwamba kama waheshimiwa tutaenda ofisi za serikali kwenda kufuatilia matatizo ya wananchi na vile vile tutatumia bunge kuuliza hayo maswali. Kwa hivyo mtu yeyote asifikirie kwamba labda kuna mbinu inaweza kutumiwa watu wengine wanyamaze. Na mimi nataka kumwelekeza rafiki wangu Alfred kwamba msimamo ni huo huo tabia zako zinajulikana usibadilishe. Mkuki kwa mnyama mtamu lakini kwa binadamu ni kachungu. Lakini hata Biblia inasema kuna Danieli alitupwa ndani pale. Lakini alitoka. Sisi tutasimama na wewe. Kwa wakenya wote misimamo yetu. Na mimi nataka kusema kweli tunaposungumza haya masuala hatuujumu mtu yote. Labda hatuujumu um, taasisi yoyote ya serikali. Kila ambacho tunataka ni ukweli usimame. Uwe mtu mkubwa, uwe mtu mdogo, lazima sheria ifuatwe na iambatane na matakwa ndani ya katiba taasisi hizi zote maadhili ya, ki, ya kijamii lazima yafuatwe haki ya kibinadamu lazima iwekwe kibaumbele kwa hivyo sisi tunasimama na jamii Alfred Keter tunasimama na watu wa Nand Hills tunasimama na wakenya wote kuja kukutia hari kwamba uzivunjike roho tuko pamoja na wewe polisi wafanye uchunguzi ukweli ubainike mbichi na mbifu itajulikana kati ya bwaguzi na ye, na bwagu tutajua ni nani na pili hapa ni kama muinda muindaji amebadilika sasa yeye ndiye amekuwa muindwa yeah. kwa hivyo tunataka kujua ukweli tutataka kujua ukweli haya mambo yote mheshimiwa mimi nakutakia heri na fanaka asante yeah, nenda nyumbani ukojumuika na familia okay. ni siku tatu nne watoto hawaje kuona labda majina wameanza kusahau asante sana sana